I have created this logic app and in this logic app if I'll open the run history I can go here and I can check my input what input data I am receiving okay what are the data uh, I have received I can see the first name last name email address phone number address so all the informations I can see okay and then in response I can see what response I have sent to uh, sent to the customer so in, suppose in that case, if I receive any secure data or if I receive any uh, high sensitive data that I don't want to capture in run history or if I want to secure that data in run history, how I can do that? Hello everyone. Today we are going to understand how to secure data in run history, how we can secure our sensitive data in run history so no one can see what data we are receiving there many triggers and actions have setting to secure input output or both from logic app run history okay so today's session we will understand how we can secure our input or output data so we cannot disclose whatever the data or we cannot show whatever the data we are receiving okay so how we can do that so for now let's get one logic app so i'm just going to create one logic app quickly so i'll give them the name my logic app i'll keep it in now uh, stus reason okay so i leave uh, all the tags by default and Okay, so now let me click on create. So it is some meeting deployment. It will not take much time. Okay, so now deployment is complete. I'll go to the resource. So here I'll use the simple logic app where we will have the request and response. So I'll use this template HTTP request and response. All right, so I use this template. It's a very simple logic app. When HTTP request is received, we will send a response 200 status back that's it all right so let's set after saving it will generate the logic app endpoint posting url so i'll copy this one okay and let's open the let's open postman to trigger some input okay so let's choose the post method i'm just pasting my endpoint go to the body here in the row data I have created one sample so I'll just copy it and I'll paste it here so this is my data where I'll I'm providing a couple of information like first name last name email address phone number and addresses I'll just click on send button it will give me my status 200 okay now I'll go back again to my Azure Now I'm here in my logic app. I'll go to my logic app and just I'll refresh it. It will give me the run history information. So yeah, I received this request. I clicked on that. If you can check in this run history, you can see what input you have received. Okay, so if you can see in the body, I have received this input. And in the response, I send this message. Now I want to secure this data. I don't want to show this data to uh i don't want to show this data in run history okay because if any support team or if any uh if any support team is doing some uh, activity they should not see this data okay so how we can secure that data how we can see what input i'm receiving should not visible here okay it's very simple so uh i can do in this logic app as well but let's get one another logic app in the same resource group later i'll explain you why you have created two logic apps so i'll go to the logic app i'll choose name here secure logic app secure input underscore logic app this is my logic app name 
I'm keeping the same reason just US review and create it's validating validation done just click on create and it should it should be complete within a second within a minute okay perfect it's done now I'll go to the resources I'll choose the same template request and response use this template okay everything will be same I'll click on save once I'll click on save it will generate the uh, endpoint or you can say the URL alright now I want to secure the input data as well as I, I want to secure the output data what I'll do I'll go to this three buttons here and I'll click on that select settings in setting if you can see the option here secure inputs okay currently by default it will be off secure output by default it will be off so here in description it says secure input of the operation secure output of the operation and reference of output property i'll select this one i'll make it on and i'll make it on this as well and then i'll click on done all right if you can see here you can see this lock lock icon this is saying this operation has secured input and output enabled but here in response you cannot see this icon again i'll go to click on these three buttons three dots and click on setting and i'll enable this so enable secure input will automatically secure output okay so i'm just going to enable secure input click on done you can see here the lock icon is enabled for response as well just click on save saving is saved and now i'll copy this endpoint i'll go my postman again open the new one select the post method paste the endpoint i'll go to the body and i'll pass the same input okay you can see here i pass the same input and i click on send i receive the 200 okay logic app designer i'll go and see my run history refresh it run history is loaded succeeded let's open it and let's see if you are able to see the input and output all right so both uh, both has been triggered successfully click on that can you see this message now content not shown due to security configuration this is for the input and this is for the output as well content not shown due to security configuration in the response also you will see the same message you will not see in what input or what output we have received in logic app so in this way we have secured the logic app we have secured the data in logic app run history now let's go back to my resource group so if you remember i have created two logic apps one my logic app and another one is secure input logic app so let's open logic app both the logic apps in a different tab all right okay so now i will show you how we can secure input and output in code view okay so previously we saw how we can secure in a designer view now we will see how we can secure in a code view. all right so this is my logic app i'll go to the i'll click on edit and i'll go to code view okay so this is the code of the logic app that we have built and logic app name my logic app now open the same thing code view for the different logic app okay so in the different logic app if you can see we have some extra parameter okay so what is that what is that extra parameter so if you can see this parameter run item configuration secure data properties input output okay so using this if we update this information in our existing logic app then we can secure our data so suppose if you want to secure the input okay so we can use this parameter if you want to secure input and output then we have to pass inputs and outputs if you just want to secure the outputs then we have to pass just the outputs all right so if you can see the same configuration here run item configuration secure data properties inputs and here if you can see 
run item configuration, secure data, properties, inputs, and outputs. Okay, why we have these two difference? If can if I'll show you the designer in the response, we have just enabled the inputs. You can see here, but for the request, we have enabled input and output both. Go to the code view. You can see this one response for response we have enabled only input and for the request we have enabled the input and output both so to secure the data or secure the input and output in a code view you just have to add this piece of code and then that way you can secure your data in a run history this is a very simple setting that we can enable and configure to secure our data in run history Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubt, any question, please contact me. Have a great day.